hello guys in this video we will be studying about the complement system so the complement system it is a part of innate immunity that complements antibodies and immune cells to remove pathogen or damaged cells in short it is doing the immune clearance it involves more than 30 proteins these proteins are synthesized in liver and circulate in blood as inactive precursors the functions of the complement protein are lysis of bacterial cell, opsonization, inflammation and chemotaxis. What are the components involved in the complement system? These are complement proteins. These complement proteins are C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, C8 and C9. The factors which are involved are factor B, factor D and factor P. Also we have lectin. Now before we uh, go further and study about the pathway, I want to give you a basic knowledge about cleavage of the complement protein. So when a complement protein is cleaved, for example take C1, when C1 is cleaved, it will cleave as C1A and C1B. What happens, the A part is always smaller and inactive and the B part is always larger and active except for the C2 complement protein. When it cleaves, the C2A is larger and active and C2B is inactive and smaller. So the complement system has three pathways, classical pathway, alternative pathway and lectin pathway. Let's discuss the classical pathway. Let's study about the classical pathway now. Uh, how is it activated? So when the antibody is attached to the antigen. What is antigen? It is basically protein or large polysaccharide on the surface of a bacterium or other cell. So once this complex is formed, it will activate the C1 complex. What is C1 complex? C1 complex basically consists of C1Q, C1R and C1S. C1Q are 6 in number, C1R are 2 in number and C1S is 2 in number. So this complex, it will attach to the C1Q part and this Q part will hence activate the R and S. So we have our C1 complex activated now. What will, what will it do after activation? The C1 once is, it's activated, it will cleave C4 and C2. C4 will be cleaved into C4A and C4B, C2 into C2A and C2B. As I told you earlier, in C2 part, the A part is larger and active. Hence, the C4B and C2A, which are the active part, they will combine and form C4B, uh, C4B2A, which is known as C3 convertase. As the name suggests, it will help in cleavage of C3. So now the C3 convertase will cleave C3 into C3A and C3B. Now the C3B will combine with the C3 convertase and form C4B2A3B which is the C5 convertase. As the name suggests, this will be cleaving the C5 complement protein. Now in presence of C5 convertase, C5 will be cleaved into C5A and C5B. Now the C5B will combine to C6, C7, C8 and C9, hence forming the MAC, which is membrane attack complex, which is basically responsible for the cell lysis. Let me show you a picture of this MAC complex. So, as you saw in the picture, the MAC leads to the pores that disrupt the cell membrane of target cell, hence leading to cell lysis and cell death. Now, let's see uh, what the other complement proteins are doing. C3B, it is causing the opsonization. What basically is opsonization? It is uh, a mechanism by which the targeting of particle for destruction by, phagocyte, uh, by phagocytic cell becomes enhanced. What C3B actually does, it go and it attaches itself to the uh, pathogens and it may, makes them more recognizable. So the phagocytic cells can go and kill them easily. So basically it is enhancing the process of phagocytosis. What MAC does, it, it uh, does the cell lysis. And what C5A does, it does the chemotaxis. Basically, it attracts the neutrophils and macrophages towards the area where antigen is present. 
then we have C3A, C4A and C5A which is involved in activation of mast cells and basophils. What this causes, it uh, causes large amount of mediators of inflammation release. So basically C3A, C4A and C5A, they are helping in release of histamines and serotonin which causes the inflammation. I hope the classical pathway is clear to you. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll try to answer them. In next videos, I'll be uh, explaining alternative pathway and lectin pathway. Thank you so much.